Good morning, everybody. It's about nine o'clock. Me and Jacob got an evaporator coil change out to do. Uh, he diagnosed this coil. I think it was like a dye pack. Like we put the UV dye sealant or whatever in, and it didn't hold up, and he found the leak in the evap coil. So, property management wants to go ahead and swap it out. And he already picked up the coil. I had to go by the supply house and fill up my acetylene and oxygen and I'm on my way there now to go ahead and help him get everything out swapped out get the tenant back going let's do it notice how I have the wet rag over the TXV area very mindful very demure <music> So you're sure it's this one? Yes. Now you know if, if this is the wrong one. You want me to turn it off? No, I'm just saying you oh. diagnosed this. <laughs> so if this is the wrong one, this on you. And it's gonna be on YouTube. And I'm gonna own the mistake as being your your I guess what supervisor and just saying no, I made him I let him do a F up, but we learned from it. That's the important thing. <laughs> the fact you recorded this huh? <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm going to I'm gonna unsweat that. So that way I can just pop this out, put it back on. Um, I'll cut this back about here. We gotta cut the P, cut the PVC about here. Spin that all out, and we should be good to go. At least removing this shouldn't take too long. Got the old coil out, but I ended up having to cut it off because even though when we got here there was like one point point something PSI of vapor left in the system um, I think there's a lot of vapor there was a good amount of vapor trapped in here because I was trying to brace it off and this just kept lighting and igniting but we couldn't ever really get the joint to fully pop off so I just cut it out so we could get the coil out of here Jacob got the new one up what I'm going to do is, when we swap the pan over, I'm going to take this coil outside, blow it clean through with nitrogen, and then braise that fitting off and put a coupling on the three quarters so we can use it. Should work out just good, just fine. How you doing, buddy? I know good. Got the old piece out, but I don't like how this is all kind of like rounded and like oblong on both sides. So I have a, this was a street 90 for here going into the coil like, like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use a regular 90, um, put a piece there, stubby piece there, and then, you know, connect this way with a coupling to my already existing piece. So, but there was a good, a little bit amount of oil that blew out right here. Um, tried to blow it out from through the suction back and then you know through the liquid and out nothing came out this way going in but when we blew it out from this way back out it, it shot out oil from there so i was able to do that and it came out with with ease after that so don't don't cut that wait i got it i got it i got it just put it down just put it down you're fucking it up <laughs> got the fittings on there got the wet rag sort of works like a wet rag like everybody says <laughs> the uh, new piece I cut coupling existing piece everything seems to be okay I got the mercury bulb way out the way I really hate that I don't know why Reem that I know of is the only people that put like the the uh the plugs with the spolt in it like why just put the plug there it's not that serious um equalizer i think that's the equalizer tube is already there oh and then there's jacob calling me to let me know he's flowing the nitrogen hey you you just missed it i made like a little intro clip for like when i put it all together yeah. I, I, put, I was like look i got i got wet rag covering the txv very mindful very demure <laughs> <laughs> all right let me get the uh let me get the torches set up so you can hold this in Hey y'all, it's Jacob. I'm very out of breath. Hey, 
you know the guy who actually the, the main dude who's like on there who's like oh jacob needs to lose some weight or whatever uh-huh <laughs> Me and him actually like chop it up like every day on Instagram. Well, you know what, sir? I am 225 now. Beat that. Still out of breath. Now I know people are probably gonna clown me on like the use of the of the rosebud. This is my first time trying it. First time trying it. Right, I'm gonna start at the TFT. My way back. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's part of the game. That's the game. Wet rag, man. I got that on the joint a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I like this rose, but. I'm so used to the other style of tip, or like, uh, torch tip, that like, this just seems so much more demure. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get the bottom side of that. Oh yeah, very demure. Demure. Suck it up, baby. Alright, next joint. Gotta be ambidextrous with this, I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, T.I. That's expeditious. We've been through this before. Oh, and pedestrians is using both hands, dude. <laughs> I'm just talking about the big words. Oh. I don't know if expeditious was real. Expeditiously was a word before he used it. I really don't know. I know expeditious. Expeditious. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. It's been, I've been out of school for a minute. That just changed. What? <laughs> Except for the boys being allowed to use the boys' bathroom and vice versa. Yep. I couldn't go to school these days. Nope. I'd be so confused. I'd be like Butters in that in that episode <laughs> of South Park. It's like I'm a, I am very confused here. I wasn't confused until you guys told me. That made me confused. I get the other side of that. Yeah. Alright, so now it's time for the coupling. Use this whole dang stick. Actually, do the good side first. As you see here in the wild. In the wild. <laughs> Cranky. Cranky. The HVAC tech brazes in the new evaporator core. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that accent kind of hard. But you kind of. You can rock that. You can rock the crocodile, hunt, the crocodile hunter for a Halloween costume, my guy. <laughs> well, like the Animal Planet narrator. Oh God, <laughs> you'd be better than Snoop Dogg. This motherfucker. <laughs> hey, watch the cursing. Watch your profanity. Watch your profanity. On the other side. All right, now. I don't really have to, but I'm going to just die down the gas a little bit for the liquid line. I don't want to make the fans really fast. I'm just used to doing that with the other side of the style pushes. Up close and personal. You know what you should do? Somebody about to critique the hell out of me and be like, Oh, you're so bad. I don't care, bro. As long as I get a loose, I'm cool. <laughs> That's why you got no women. I ain't say, don't, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. You about to put all my business out there. Don't say that. I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> I, was, I thought we were talking about the other person. <laughs> oh, my hands. You ain't got no women. Oh, all right. It's time to do a pressure test. Pressure test. Oh, I need to go cut that off. Yeah. Man. What's the temperature outside right now? 
Boy, the feel like it's 93 right now, but it ain't no way. What's your phone say? 87. 87, all right, maybe, maybe. The attic is definitely hotter up. The attic is definitely We got the one hose method right now. It's on the suction line. Um, micron gauge on the liquid line. It's going down fairly slow right now. Oh. They ain't, the people ain't seen you in a minute, buddy. You got any life updates you want to give the people? Let me get away from the dang vacuum pump because it's loud. Oh, man, my damn baby. You was about to say baby mama? <laughs> no, I said damn. I was like, oh, shit. My baby 11 months old. Oh, okay. Today. All right, there you go. Congrats. Got four sets of teeth. Saying dad that like it's nothing. Uh, I mean, been busting my butt off trying to be better at this. Okay. Working weekends. I know. I told the people you found this. You found this evaporator cold bad. Did you put the dye in or did it change? I put the dye in. You did. Yeah. How long did it last? Uh, about two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. How much refrigerant did you have to add when you put the uh, dye in? I think it was about three and a half that Dang. I added. Dang, three and a half. It wasn't that low, but it was low enough to make it work cool. Was it freezing up and stuff? It's not like it wasn't freezing up, it just wasn't cooler. Okay. It's kind of like, the horrible. You know, this uh, is like the 12th time we've been on here. You know what would be a learning experience for you? Is if we put Schrader ports, if we took that EVAP coil back to Chaz, right? Uh -huh. And we put a, uh, we like put Schrader ports on it, sealed up the ends, and then we went ahead and pressurized it. And then we just sat there and just kept dunk. We dunked the coil in a bucket or something, or just spray the whole thing down with some soap bubbles. That'd be if you wanted to try it. That's a whole lot oh, of extra in this. Oh, yeah, I, I mean it's, it's scrap now. But you want to keep it or you want to leave it for for a scrapper? Make me my money. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're at about ten forty three. It's going down slow. I would have liked to have uh, to pull the Schraders on it and probably pull a heck of a lot faster. But uh, we've done so much up and down on the stairs right now, in and out of that hot attic. I'm just I'm ready to just be done with it. It's, it's still pulling down, so just got to play the waiting game. Just got to play the waiting game. It took me a minute to realize. I needed to turn the gas ballast off. We're at about 665. I'm gonna let it keep going. But uh I had it like right here and I was like, oh my god, this thing just sounds terrible. What's my microns? And I looked at it and I was like, oh crap, I need to turn it on. And it just got extra quiet. The only trick I'm gonna have is the little bit of moisture that's gonna get in the system when I undo, you know, both lines, because obviously I was impatient and didn't take the cores out. So hopefully, I'm going to try and get this down as low as I can so that way the amount of moisture that gets in is going to be very minimal. It will take off the hoses really, really fast. I understand that's not the way, you know, the, the best practice to do it. I'm just short on time right now. We're trying to get done. Um, and sometimes it's like that. Sometimes, you know, you cut a little bit of corners, um, but you still want to try to do to the best of your ability the job as, as best you can. I mean, I'm just happy. I had a cord right here and I didn't have to cheat a cord this thing to the contactor and the ground wire. Um, you you really went and got your water out of my cooler and you didn't give me a water. Uh, boy, apprentices these days, they so selfish. All right, so we just went up in the attic, got the PVC hall hooked up. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we got the panels back on. <laughs> Came back out in the the vacuum off and double check the micron gauge i pulled it off reading like 530 the pressure still kind of going down so that's just a good sign i don't know why i'm saying pressure i mean just the micron reading mic wand mic wands mic wand got 500 mic wands um so jacob's got my scale we're gonna get everything all hooked up to go ahead and start adding refrigerant back in here and i'm gonna go up there and finish with a little bit of the line set insulation um probably insulate the p-trap as well just uh, actually no it's sitting in the emergency pan i don't mind i'm not gonna worry about it what you hear the baby i heard a baby 
Okay. Dad reflexes. Dad reflexes? Yeah. When you hear baby, baby crying <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> Let's hurry up. Who's the same? All right. Everything seems to be back in order. When we walked from around the side of the house, I noticed one of the drains out of the two systems running um, was draining a lot better. Like it was, you know, like a steadier drip, uh, almost a steady stream coming out. I think it was this one, just because we've created a heck of a lot better pitch on this, as opposed to this one, which is pretty much just kind of level through there and barely any flow down there. Um, it's pulling in about 80 degree air from downstairs I mean I'm just going off the thermostat downstairs um, Jacob will put his probes up in the duct later and get true better readings for us uh, to put on the app and everything for our invoice but 82 on the thermostat reading 61 right there I'd say we're doing pretty darn good you ready, are you ready to finish this up I got other calls to do yes sir <laughs> oh yeah and we got the sticker up there let's get it I'd hate to leave Jacob with that by himself, but we gotta get back on the road doing calls. All he's gotta do is just finish the charge, dialing it in. Um, we started the job off already behind. I th Jacob said it took him like 40 minutes, 30 or 40 minutes just to get the coil at Ferguson. I don't know if there was like a long line this morning there, or it just took them forever to find the coil. Um, so it's just, we're just playing catch up now, but Got that tenant cool and she's happy. They've been out without air for like two weeks, I guess she told me before I got all my stuff out of there. So she's she was very thankful. She gave Jacob a, a whole glass of ice water. <laughs> oh man. Um, another successful service call, I'd say. Um, I don't know what else. I don't really know how else to end the video at that point. This wasn't my service call, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see Jacob growing. He's, his, his phone calls um, to me and the boss have diminished or at least to the point where it's like, you know, actual things where it's like, you know, he's he, obviously he's showing signs of catching on is what I'm trying to say. So that's good. We're proud. We're proud of him for that. Um, you know, he'll call us trying to figure out exactly how to double check and triple check his diagnosis is pretty much where he's at now. He's like, I think it's this. How is there any other way to be sure that this is the, uh, the end of the problem? Because he doesn't want to mess up. So we help him when we can. We haven't had many callbacks on most of his, on, on his stuff. Um, all in all, I, I mean, we're at what, the beginning of September pretty much now almost. He had a very successful summer, so we're proud of him for that. But if you guys made it to this end of the video, this far in the video, thank you. It was a very fun, lighthearted video, not real serious. Uh, I always try to crack a bunch of jokes with him, make the day go by easier. Uh, and it gives him something to laugh about when he goes back and watches this video. <laughs> so with all that being said, guys, thank you. If you liked the video, actually leave a like. If you think somebody else in the field would get enjoyment out of watching it, go ahead, send it to them. I appreciate everybody who watches my videos and leaves a comment. You know, it, it does nothing but help me. So you guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you on the next one.